Android 12 Developer Preview 3 is already out and some GSIs are also available for the testers. Well, before starting this video, there is something that every one of you must know. There are a lot of fake news about the present COVID vaccines and their side effects. Please do not believe in them. Please do vaccinate your parents and all your elders in your home who are above 45 years of age as soon as possible. I already made my parents get vaccinated. After vaccination, they too found that all those terrifying news about the COVID vaccines are all fake. So please get vaccinated as soon as possible. Stay home and stay safe. Let's start the video. All the download links are given in the description below. Please download all the files and place them in your PC according to your devices. Now, next, boot your device into TWRP. If your device doesn't have a TWRP and you don't know how to flash a TWRP, please do watch my video about flashing a TWRP image. The link is provided in the description below. Now, boot into TWRP and then next, wipe everything. Next, copy the downloaded files and place them in your internal storage of your phone. The next step, flash the triple supported Android 11 custom ROM in TWRP. Well, for my device, which is MIA2, I'm using AICP Android ROM, which is triple supported. For your devices, the ROMs may change. You have to find your own triple supported Android 11 custom ROMs for your particular devices. Next, after, after the ROM gets flashed, please reboot to recovery again. Then click install image option and then select GSI image and flash it as system image. Usually after this step, GSI should boot, but there is a small bug here, so it won't boot. But we have already downloaded the fix file and we already copied it to our internal storage. Now simply go to mount and mount your system and then click advanced. Go to file manager and then go to system underscore root or system. For some devices it will be system and for some devices it will be system underscore root. So you have to find it yourself. For me it is system underscore root. In this I can find init.environ.rc. So find this file, click on that and simply delete that file. Same in that file manager, move to SD card and then click on the file that we have downloaded in it.environ.rc and then copy it to the system underscore root or system based on your device. Next, click on that file and then click chmod 755. You may not be needed to do this particular step of uh, deleting and copying the file because this issue is already fixed in the latest GSI and the link I provided is for the latest GSI so you don't need to do this particular step. Then after this your device should be successfully get booted and after all the initial setup process let's see what new features we get in this GSI. First thing I noted is that this large looking one handed UI is already enabled by default on our devices. Next beautiful feature is that over scroll animation is applied throughout the system. You can find it in the settings and also in the Play Store. It is not a new feature because it is already implemented in the MIUI like skins. So this came very late into the Android 12. Next feature I noticed is each and every app has a splash screen by default while opening these apps. It is a new feature, but I don't know what use this feature actually have. Now, everything in the recent apps, pop-ups is completely rounded off at corners, which is kind of neat and clean volume panel also got a bubbly overhaul which is also cool and nice pixel launcher also has a new app drawer animation it is also kind of cool but in the normal usage scenario we hardly notice it now we can also search through widgets which is kind of very useful particularly to those who always makes 
customizations to their on-screen widgets. In the battery estimation page, we have progress bar in place of a giant battery icon. But I'm not a big fan of this particular change as I like the giant battery icon more than this. There is a new widget called conversations. I particularly don't know how to use it. So let's see about this in the upcoming videos. Along with these, there are some small changes which I noticed. The items in the Pixel Launcher's context menu are separated. Now, notification pull-down animation is a little bit bouncier just to maintain that uniformity of overscroll animation throughout the system. Red use brightness toggle is now renamed as Extra Dim. And also, more of the quick setting toggles have on and off toggles now. Now, the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi hotspot toggle, it is now renamed as Maximize Compatibility. It is just kind of renamed and it is not a new feature. There is an add link button to manage and add supported links which an app can open. Now, accounts is renamed as Passwords and Accounts and also Autofill service is moved into this particular section. There are even more minor changes here and there, but we usually don't notice them in our daily usage. So this build has brought some features as expected, but still it is a developer preview. So some of these features may not make it to the final release. But one thing to say is this build is particularly solidly stable, at least as far as my device is concerned. And one more thing is Gcam works perfectly fine in this build which is pretty surprising, but only up to the Gcam version 7.3 is working pretty fine. Gcam versions which are 8 and above are not working. They are crashing in this particular way, at least as far as my device is concerned. So that's about Android 12 Developer Preview 3. Keep watching my videos, stay home, stay safe and avoid going out as much as possible. If you find this video interesting, please give me a like, subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get the latest notifications about my latest videos. Thank you for watching. This is Arrow signing off.